First quarter here at Pope John High School, the Lions race out to a 9-1 lead over Randolph. Watch Joe DeProspo pop the pull-up jumper, and the Lions are up by eight, forcing a Randolph timeout. Then watch the Lions work it around the Randolph zone, and it's Kristen Spetz knocking down the three, and Pope John has a 12-1 advantage. Pope John pushes his lead to 11 here. Watch Spetz with the board, and she takes it all the way with a beautiful spin move, and the Lions are up 17-6. And the high-scoring first quarter comes to an end here. Watch Caitlin Fitzmorris with the offensive board, and she hits the runner, and it's all Pope John, 21-9 after one quarter. Okay, second quarter, and Joe DeProspo continues her big first half. Watch her snag the board as she converts the little up-and-under reverse layup, and it's 23-9, Pope John. Nice move there. Then watch DeProspo with the terrific move here again as she attacks the basket to push Pope John's lead to 28-9 over the Rams. Randolph needs a buck, and the Rams get one here off the inbounds. It's Rachel Crowell to Alana Miniovich for the hoop, but Randolph trails 34-15. Then it's Joe DeProspero capping her big first half here for the Lions with a nifty move to the bucket, and Pope John has a 36-15 lead at the break. Third quarter we go, and it's Kirsten Labrizzi who was in foul trouble with the three-pointer for Pope John, and the Lions hold a 39-15 lead. Randolph's trying to stay around in this one, and it's Jenny La Mancuso rattling in the three-pointer, but Randolph trails by 20, 40-20. The Lions make it 47-22 here off the good passing. It's Nicole Barnett with the hoop, and Pope John's up by 25, and it's pulling away. Pope John can surely shoot, folks. Watch Kristen Spetz with another three-pointer for the Lions, and they have a 52-23 lead after three quarters of play. Fourth quarter action, Randolph still battling, and it's Courtney Whiting with a nice drive to the hoop to cut Pope John's lead to 59-29. And everyone who got in the game for Pope John contributed to this big win. This time it's Maggie Miller with the stick back as Pope John would cruise to a 67-35 victory to improve to 11-0 on the season. We came out really strong. Uh, we were really excited about this game. We lost to them last year on a tough, tough loss with a buzzer beater with the last few seconds. And we decided we weren't going to let them stay in the game that long this time. So. We were working hard all week in practice for it, and we made it work. It was really satisfying to be talking about coming out strong in the locker room and then actually coming out here and doing it today because we did have a bad taste in our mouth from last year with that end, so we were really happy with this one. It feels really good. Uh, it was a nice win, especially because you know we were 10-0, and 0, so it's good to get that win. This was a good win for us today. Um, pushed us to 11-0. We have a big week next week. We have Morristown and Mendo. Morristown is one of the top teams in the in the county, and Mendo's always does a great job. But today, uh, we was a little revenge. You know, last year, we played them at the buzzer. The girl hit a half-court shot. I still think, so, think in my mind, we still talk about it all the time, my players. But it was a good win for us. Good win. 11-0 right now. We're keep on going. Defense, defense, defense. Pope John didn't mess around in this one, folks. They came out in that full court pressure defense, took a 21 to nine lead after one quarter and never looked back. The starting five, we always bring it in before the game and say like, we set the tone right now. Like we need to talk on defense. Defense is the most important part and offense translates and that's what we try and do. What makes this Pope John team so dangerous, it's his balance and it's depth. Offensively, anyone can step up and have a big game. Tonight in the first half, Joe DeProspero had 15 points. Then Kristen Spetz got hot from the three-point land in the second half. Kirsten Labrizzi as well, Caitlin Fitzmaurice. The list goes on. They're a dangerous bunch when they're on. That's the amazing part about our team. It's that you never know who the leading scorer is going to be. Anyone can step up at any time. And you can't, if you shut down one person, the next person's always ready to bounce back. If we have all of us... Um, going off on like a streak is really dangerous because obviously all five of us, if we're in double digits, that's bad for the other team. Um, but even if a few of us have go off and have like double digits, it's still a pretty good, it's pretty good. Pope John's undefeated right now, but their biggest win of the season came down at Kane University when they knocked off state-ranked Roselle Catholic and a pretty big upset that it opened a lot of eyes around the state and gave this Lions team a lot of confidence. We were really nervous and excited about that game. Uh, we went in, we were amazed at the court. We were just, we've never played in an atmosphere like that. And we were just really, we came out really excited, lots of energy and we gave it our all and it worked out. It's definitely one of the bigger wins that we had. Um, 
it felt really good to play in front of a bunch of people and, you know, beat Roselle because they're, again, one of the top teams in the state. So it felt really good, especially because a lot of people were doubting us that we couldn't do it. So it felt good to prove them wrong. This season was built over the last three, according to third-year coach John Slackman. They built a foundation. Last year they had a great year winning 15 games and getting to the semis. This year they said they built off that and they learned our lessons. Right, it's three years in the making. I first got here, they weren't really basketball players. They're just playing it for fun and, you know, instill that winning mentality, mental toughness. Now they're having fun. And I told the leaders, look what happens when we put time and effort in. We're 11-0. and 0. We keep it up. Hopefully we take care of business next week with Morristown and Mendo. We keep it going and going, get ready for states and counties. Our coach always says this is the three years in the making since he's been here. We've been working for this for three years now. His Pope John team has a tough week coming up. They got Mendham and Morristown, two very good teams. But their goals, get a high seed for HWS, win the American, and make some noise in states. We're trying to go to, to TOC. We're really trying to um, get to the championship. We're working hard, trying to go farther in states than we were last year. I think our goal is to definitely win counties, win states, go as far as we can. Um, we definitely want to go and stay undefeated. So we have two big games next week against Morristown and Mendham. Um, so hopefully we'll get the win on those and go far. We want to just keep it rolling with a defensive pressure. Yes, yeah, so we want our goals again, as we said. We want to win their, um, our, excuse me, our conference title get, uh, this year and to get the number one or two seed in the counties and for the states right now. So again, we got to keep on winning, keep on winning. Everything's done through PowerPoints. The only way we get more points is by winning games right now.